Alright guys, so today we're going to quickly take a look at a game where I played as the Rus against Delhi on Mongolian Heights, which is a hybrid map. And the style of video is a little bit different. And it's not to like bitch and moan because I'm a Delhi main. It's more just to like, I don't know, I think maybe like bring some more awareness around um, other civs being viable on hybrid maps. And I'm sure if you've watched a bunch of other uh top players as well they're kind of figuring out that Delhi isn't quite as op as everyone makes it out to be on hybrid maps and i wanted to show you an example of rus i think in my opinion rus is the best hybrid sieve right now um for a few reasons the lodger are very cost effective you can transform your logic uh fishing boats into lodges if you need that in the next stage I also have the Kremlin as well, which is great for like zoning certain parts of the water off. And I wanted to show you, this is a quick little game here. Um, keep in mind this player is not quite at like the same rank as I am, but I've been consistently losing to Rus players on water because Delhi, they can try and cheese your opponent, but on most of the maps you can wall off your fishing eco to make it safe, which is exactly what I do in this game. And... Also, um, Delhi have the weakest age two ships. So as soon as you hit age two and you have naval combat with your opponent, you're in big trouble. So you either need to invest a lot into towers on your shoreline to keep your eco safe. And if, if the Rus player like identifies that, then they can easily just ignore that. Just let Delhi invest a bunch of resources into securing water. And by then, they could either go like a second TC and outscale you, or by the time you actually are able to deny their fishing eco, um, the game's already over. So, uh, in this game, I made a little bit of a mistake. Ideally, because I scouted um, that he hadn't placed a dock yet, I, I put my dock on this side of the water, but ideally you would put it over here so you secure this amount of fish for the early game. And then later you can expand out. The problem with having on this side is if if my opponent built the dock here on this side, he could cheese me with his fishing boats, making me not be able to produce any new fishing boats. Keep in mind I could still like bring fishing boats across here and wall off this segment. But in this case, um, he's built it on this side of the river. Something to be conscious of if you are playing as Delhi is what side you're putting your dock on. So you can deny your opponent or at least restrict where they can uh, fish. So I've come forward with two bills here. Placing a wall here so the fishing boats can't get across to my lodges and kill me in age one. So the already the advantage of the shooting fishing ships has been denied and mitigated. Um, obviously it comes at the cost of building a wall and I think I lose a bill here. No, I don't. His scout might come clean that up as well. Um, but now if he wants to stay safe on water, he knows he has to tower either his side or my side. But the thing is about towering a Rus opponent, here I am spreading my fishing ships so I have full line of sight of this river. Um, just to make sure he's not putting a dock down here. But the thing is with, as particular with a Civ like Rus is they're going to age up a lot quicker than what Delhi is because they get the free gold from the bounty and then by then if you've towered say here where I'm kind of rich or here where I'm kind of fishing um, by the time you've denied me fishing I'm already aged two and I can kill your whole fishing eco and if you're investing in aggressive towers the def you're not going to have defensive ones which means that Rus is just going to overwhelm you and as you can see in this game uh I tried the Kremlin for a little bit of memes but I actually really liked it 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 allowed me to zone him off this part of fishing. Um, taking a, I did see this from Marine Lord in his tournament game. I can't remember who it was against, but um, using the Kremlin here to zone off this part of the fishing, so I can place a dock here. Um, now he's actually looking to aggressive tower. I'm really not fussed by this at all. Rust ships can just sit wherever they want, gather fish, and I'm already on my way up. Honestly, this is a little bit late for an age up with Rus. I did mess up my timings a little bit and forgot to send my villages out quicker. Um, but as you can tell, I'm up before the Delhi. Delhi will be up any second now, but it doesn't matter. Like I can, I transformed one ship 
but um, if I needed to, I could have transformed more. But I'm just creating more, keeping my fishing eco alive for now. And he's trying to get a tower up to keep his fishing set safe. I can just keep coming in and out. Can't really deny me at all here, and he calls it there. So obviously, if this game, like if he played a little bit better, like walled off this segment there, even if he did wall off that segment, the Kremlin zoned off that dock quite well. So he, he probably wouldn't be game to build warships. Um, and he would have to go all the way into the other corner and I would have full water, basically. And if he wanted to get me off it, he would have to tower up basically everywhere. And with that big of an investment, that gives a huge opportunity for Rus to do some serious damage, go up to castle for free. Um, and by then, like, there's not really much you can do if, if you're, like, four minutes behind in castle or three minutes behind in castle or whatever it may be. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it gave you some insights into how Rus can play uh, water against Delhi or even for, for any matter, like, any other Civ can do some sort of variation of that. Rus obviously does it the best because they don't need to drop off their fish back and also they get the Kremlin Age up as well. But you can do something similar with another sieve, just wall off your segment and if you want to fight on water, if you notice he doesn't have towers or wall segments, you can just uh, delete your own and then go through to his side and kill his fishing eco once you've aged up. A little bit different style of video guys, but hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll catch you in the next one.